What's up everybody, this is Alex with New View Trust Company coming to you today with a little bit of a public service announcement. As the end of the year approaches, there are a few deadlines that are approaching as well, one of which is nothing out of the ordinary, but the other, the other two might paint a little bit of a grim picture for the future of self-directed IRA investing. These mainly have to do with Roth conversions. Now, in case you don't know, a Roth conversion is the process of taking money from a pre-tax account, a pre-tax IRA, something like a traditional IRA, a SEP IRA, or a simple IRA, and converting that account into a Roth IRA where your investment growth is completely tax-free. So let's say you took $5,000 and you put it into one of these pre-tax accounts like a traditional SEP or a simple IRA. If you grow that $5,000 into $50,000, ultimately at retirement age, you're gonna be responsible for paying tax on the full $50,000. Now, what smart investors might do, and if it makes sense for them, is they'll convert their traditional SEP or simple IRA when it's $5,000, and doing so just means you have to pay the income tax on the amount you convert, and they'll convert it into a Roth IRA. They do the same investments, grow that account to be $50,000, but that $50,000 is completely free and clear of capital gains tax, just like any IRA, but also free of income tax at retirement age as well. So in simpler terms, when you're doing a Roth conversion, you're paying tax on the seed instead of the harvest. So next, we're gonna go into what are the proposed changes that might be coming to Roth conversions in 2022. And that's the deadline we're talking about, December 31st, 2021. With the current administration's new infrastructure bill coming down the pipeline, making its way through Congress, there are some changes in there that might be coming to IRAs and specifically Roth conversions. Number one, depending on if you exceed certain income limits as a single tax filer or as a joint tax filer, you would no longer be able to make Roth conversions after December 31st, 2021. Number two, if you have a company-sponsored 401k plan that currently allows for in-plan Roth conversions, in-plan Roth conversions just mean that's that within your 401k, when your employer puts money in, they're taking a tax deduction for that amount. You as the employee, you may elect to have Roth deferrals come from your paycheck. That just means that there's now two buckets of money that are being created within that 401k. One that's pre-tax, which is the deductible employer contribution, and the post-tax bucket, which is your employee Roth deferrals from your paycheck. Currently, you can take that employer pre-tax contribution and convert it over to the Roth component of that 401k plan, and all your investment growth is tax-free. Coming in 2022, though, could possibly see the end of that in-plan Roth conversion. So those two things are very important to take into consideration as we approach the end of the year, because if that's something that you want to do, if you want to get your investments growing tax free, you need to make that Roth conversion by the end of the year. At the beginning of the video, I also mentioned a deadline that is not necessarily out of the ordinary. And this is just Roth conversions in general. Should this bill pass or you know, it may not, that's still up in the air. But even if you wanna make a Roth conversion just for 2021, there still is a deadline associated with that. Since a Roth conversion is a taxable event, it does apply to whatever calendar year that it took place in. So if you're looking to make a Roth conversion for 2021 so that you're able to pay income tax on that conversion, you know, next this coming tax filing season, that also needs to be done by December 31st of this year, 2021. So with all these deadlines in mind, what does it mean for you, the self-directed IRA investor? Number one, you need to be seriously considering if a Roth conversion is right for you. And there's many different considerations to make before doing a Roth conversion. And we've got another video that does cover these considerations to make, so I encourage you to check that video out as well. If you want more details about you know, the proposed changes, you know, the regular Roth conversion deadline, IRA specialists like myself at New View Trust Company are more than happy to tell you whatever you need to know about what to expect coming in the future with these deadlines, what a normal Roth conversion looks like. Make the considerations now. We've got about 15 days left in 2021. By the time this video goes up, it might be even sooner than that. So 
get with your tax advisor, make those considerations, find out if a Roth conversion is right for, for you. They may be going away in the future. You give Congress an inch and they take a mile. We don't know if it's gonna be a slippery slope from here on out, so do it while you can if it's right for you and get those self-directed investments growing completely tax-free.